Hi, I'm Amy Carpenter, and this is Around Town with Amy. Today's show is on an inspirational pup who lives each day of his life to the fullest. That is coming up next on Around Town with Amy. Sure Shot Directional Boring is proud to support Around Town with Amy. We are the region's trusted directional boring and hydro excavation service experts. With more than 20 years experience, SureShot Directional Boring ensures projects will be handled skillfully, safely, on time, and within budget. Contact us today at 740-689-1221 or online at SureShotBoring.com. For the last 30 years, I've worked in Fairfield County. The beauty of working in this county is it's small enough that you get to know people on an individual level, that you get to do what you, the kind of work you want to do personally, but it's large enough that we have some resources and we have some ability to bring coalitions together to make some bigger changes. You have the benefits of a suburban community and Columbus isn't too far away if you want to get that urban experience. Plus, if I ever feel like I need to get away for a little bit, there's tons of great hiking around here. Well, Fairfield County is just a really different county, so it's very resource rich. There are so many people in similar and overlapping helping fields. They make excellent community partners. We all know each other and we don't compete with each other like agency wide. We're all here to serve our clients and you know someone everywhere, you know what I mean? Um, and so that I just feel like that helps it to get our clients the best care. So that's a big thing for me. Community, connections, collaboration. The Fairfield County Way. Around Town with Amy is sponsored in part by Deline McNeil. Whether you're in the market to buy or sell a home, look no further than Deline McNeil, your reliable real estate expert with over 25 years of invaluable experience. With a reputation for honesty, genuine care, and a strong work ethic, Deline McNeil is dedicated to assisting you with all your real estate needs. For a seamless and trustworthy real estate journey, reach out to Deline McNeil today. If your child is struggling in school, Dr. Amy's Tutoring Service is your trusted tutor in the Lancaster area. Dr. Amy has been a teacher for over 25 years and has taught kindergarten, first, second, and third grades. She has multiple degrees to help your child with reading, writing, spelling, math, science, and social studies. Dr. Amy offers one-on-one -on -one tutoring using various methods to help students improve grades, confidence, and master fundamental skills. Amy's goal is to help kids learn and grow and to achieve success in their problem areas. Dr. Amy's tutoring service is here to help. To book an appointment, contact Amy today. Hank's Pet Sitting Service is your trusted pet service in the Lancaster area. Pet owners can rest assured knowing that Hank's Pet Sitting Service will treat your fur babies like one of their own. We specialize in a home away from home atmosphere to keep your pet comfortable. From drop-in visits, dog walking, or potty breaks for your pooch, Hank's Pet Sitting Service is here to help. To book an appointment, contact Hank's Pet Sitting Service today. When Brody was just a puppy, his mom accidentally grabbed him a little too hard and scarred his face leaving him with extra wrinkles. These extra wrinkles made him the undesirable pup of his litter. When his human mom, Deborah, saw Brody, he wasn't undesirable to her. He was love at first sight. It was a picture on Facebook. A friend had posted um, puppies, and he was off by himself sitting there with his squishy face, as I call him. Um, and so I called about him. I said, well... Um, he, he has a little scarring. His mama was a little aggressive in weaning him, so his face is always going to have those wrinkles. And I go, I don't care. So I drove clear down to the river in a rainstorm to get him, <laughs> um, and it was love at first sight. Brody was a typical yellow lab and had lots of energy. Brody would play for hours. 
Even after going to a trainer, Brody was still full of excess energy. In the fall of 2021, Brody's mom noticed something was wrong. We started noticing that when he would play, he would come up lame. And we're like, oh, buddy, quit playing. I mean, we have walls and retaining walls. He jumps up and down. I thought, he's done something to his knee. My daughter, who is a vet tech, she told me, she said, take him to MetVet, take him to OSU. I said I couldn't get into either. I just got on the waiting list. And then I started questioning. I took mm -hmm. him in and they did x-rays. You know, it was just one of those things. They said, I'm pretty sure by the x-rays that it's osteosarcoma. According to dogcancer.com, osteosarcoma is an aggressive bone cancer. The VCA Animal Hospital explains that the long bones, front and hind legs, are the most commonly affected. After finding out Brody's diagnosis, Deborah talked to her friend Michelle, who had been fighting osteosarcoma for years. I asked my friend who just happened to come and work one day, I said, I need your opinion. Um, I know you've been through it. What would you do? And she more or less, take it off, take it off now. If I'd done it, I'd be so much better off just take the leg off. And I said, okay. Right. And from then on, uh, I got a call right after that. OSU had an opening, a cancellation, and off we went. Deborah explains her experience at Ohio State. I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything um, at the OSU Veterinary Hospital they did. When they explained the surgery in detail to me, the surgeon came in, this is what we'll do, um, this is what, you know, will happen, you'll leave them overnight, you know, which there was another thing, oh, overnight. Right. Um, but, you know, they said, and then we'll discuss, you know, there's a possibility of chemo. And the, and if I wanted to do chemo or not, and just to be thinking about it. Right. But they said they would let me know, you know, right after the surgery. And from then on, we made the appointment and then we waited. Brody's surgery went well, and his doctors recommended chemotherapy in addition to his surgery. The chemo would give Brody more time, and it would slow the cancer. When Deborah and her husband went to pick up Brody from his surgery, they were surprised. They pictured him on a gurney, but instead, he walked out of the hospital. He has been on the go ever since and lives each day to the fullest. Deborah shares what she has learned from this experience with Brody. We have a theme, be more like Brody. Brody has no idea he's sick. He lives every day to the fullest. Um, only mom does. And I just tell people, you know, don't take every day for granted. You know, um, just live. And our minds are... Our minds work overtime and yeah. his does not. He right. loves life. Deb, thank you so much for being here with us today and sharing your story. And I know that it will help many people. That's good. Thank I you. appreciate you being here. Thank you. You can read more about Brody in my story, Living Your Best Life, in the July 22nd edition of The Town Crier. Thank you for joining me on Around Town with Amy.